in time watching back. Commandments of God versus the commandments of the government. Which one should you go by? Let's go to the next commandment. Watch this. You shall not make or take the name of the Lord your God in vain. For the Lord will not hold him guiltless who takes his name in vain. Hold it. You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. All right, watch this. End times got his bill fold out. Let's lay them out there. Doesn't really matter, does it? Which one it is. 20, 10, 100. Let's see, hold on. Got a $1 bill here. Got a 5. Yeah. I'll be dying. Okay. This Federal Reserve note that's a piece of garbage and worth nothing to us because it ain't backed by gold. Do not take the Lord's name in vain. Here's what they've done. Read it. Five dollar bill. In God we trust. When they're lying, they don't trust in God or they wouldn't rip us off. One dollar bill. In God we trust. Let's go to the ten. God we trust. Let's, run, let's check the twenty. In God we trust. Let's look at the C note, baby. Let's look at the hundred. In God we trust. Now, you tell me, are they blaspheming the name of God by putting it on this filthy garbage that ain't nothing to us? You bet your rear end they are. The Lord will not hold them guiltless who takes his name in vain. Federal Reserve and the government put it on here to fool you into thinking that they trust in God when they don't, you see. I'm not an idiot. You shouldn't be neither. The Lord will not hold them guiltless who takes his name in vain. Uh, well, you know, the, the GD factor, I don't have anything. Well, you know, GD, God never damned anybody. They damn themselves. God don't. See? And the Federal Reserve putting in God we trust on the money was just a drawing thing. It was just a it was just a ploy to get the Christians, the evangelicals, the Holy Ghost filled, and the Baptists and the Catholic and all to agree that this must be good money because it's got God's name on it. No, they took the name of God, put it on there, and bang! Don't make me preach tonight. Move on. The next one says, Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days you labor, bam, seventh you rest. Okay. I want to ask you a question. Who changed the Sabbath? Not God. It's always been Friday sundown, Saturday sundown. Can I tell you who changed it? Man. Constantine. Exactly. So therefore they run to what they call church on Sunday and they think they're doing God's service and they're not. God said he made the Sabbath for man, not for him. God neither sleeps nor slumbers. But they run every Sunday and they think they're doing God's will and God's work by doing it. But I've come out here to tell you something. That's not the Sabbath. Well, it doesn't matter anymore, Billy, because here we are in the New Testament. Hello? Jesus never changed it. Man changed it. The Sabbath is uh, Friday sundown, Saturday sundown, baby. There ain't no arguing it. You can't argue it. You can sit there and say that God says you worship any day of the week. He's supposed to worship every day of the week. But the rest and the Sabbath to take it easy and restore your body, your soul, and your mind is Friday sundown, Saturday sundown. You can't prove it otherwise in this Bible. You can't prove it otherwise no time. But you justify yourself by going on a Sunday and you think that you're doing God's work by getting up, putting on a suit, getting your tie ready, and on the first day of the week, rather than uh, the Sabbath, you go out there and you think you're worshiping God. When you're not. You're worshiping what man said to do because man, Constantine, changed it and said Sunday's the day of worship, not Saturday anymore. So just because your butt 
was too sorry to study the truth of the Sabbath, you accept that Sunday's it. That don't make it right. It does not make it be the Sabbath of God, regardless of what your friggin' opinion is. It does not make it right. You see? Now, the government says Sunday's it. The government says you can have all the hours, you can worship all the things you want to do. Especially them. You better bow down and lick their boots because they make the laws, not God. Let's back it up again. You better covet that government that they're going to give you your check and your refund check every friggin' year, and you better covet them over God. Do you understand what end time's trying to tell you? See, the Word of God is plain, it's true, and it's simple to understand. But I got news for you. Now, many of people are going to stand before him on Judgment Day and said, Well, God, I heard they said that you said that we should do it. Well, you know what? They said wrong. God did never say to worship government. Never. God said to keep his commandments. His commandments are not grievous towards men. Why would God have made commandments to benefit man and then they all of a sudden, by the government's uh, announcements, they're grievous. They're, 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 we don't have the ability to keep them. It makes me want to throw up. When I hear so-called Christians and Christian leaders saying that we should bow to the government and not to God. See, God said that when he created man, he he formed man from the dust of the earth. He, God, breathed a breath of life into you and you became a living soul. Now, the one that gave you breath and life, hadn't you should ought to obey him over this other garbage? Shouldn't you? I'm just being straight up and laying it on the line, not sugarcoating nothing, not twisting nothing, not giving an opinion of what somebody wrote, no book, or whatever. I'm just telling you what thus saith God. And you got to ask yourself, is God pleased with me because I'm going by what he says, or is God displeased with me because I'm bowing to a corrupt, evil government that won't even acknowledge his commandments? I mean, the question's right there. Ask yourself tonight. What's the deal, baby? What's going on? Am I somehow or another being confused? I've come out to tell you you are. If you obey the government over God's word, you are totally confused and headed on a path straight to destruction. You see? I don't want you to be destroyed. I don't want you to be lied to and deceived any longer. I want you to know the truth. And when you know that truth, it'll make you free, glory to God. And you'll have such a weight lifted off of your shoulders, kind of like when I, when I had it lifted off me in 99, 2000, I'm like, God have mercy, I was under such a burden. Thinking that I'd owed the government this, I owed them that. Even whatever they said, I needed to go by it. Then once I found the true God through Jesus Christ, I'm like, He lifted the bricks off of me, took the scales off my eyes, and bam, I could see clearly when I read that scripture. End time watchman, I'll be right back.